I want to begin by commending Zoom Lion and Just One group of companies for the good work that they are doing in the area of waste management and sanitation. One of the visions of my government is to ensure that we utilize Ghanaian entrepreneurship as best as we can. And I must say, when we talk about the waste and sanitation area, Zoom Lion and Just Fong are the leading Ghanaian companies in this particular area. And as has been said, as a result of the activities, they've created 75,000 jobs across this country. Waste management and sanitation is one of the priority areas of this government because we have a situation where we have fast growing cities and urban centers in this country. At Independence, more than 70% of our people lived in rural areas and less than 30% lived in urban centers. Today, as I speak, 53%, that is more than half of Ghanaians, live in cities and urban centers, and only 47% live in what we'll describe as rural areas. So it means that where our population is resident, rural to urban, is beginning to change. And so we have a bigger urban population than a rural population. Now, what is associated with urbanization is that in cities, you need to put in a system to manage waste. Not same in rural areas, because in rural areas, a lot of the use of products is organic. And so they are biodegradable. And often they will degrade in the environment. But in cities with a disposable income, the use of plastics and other packaging material become a major constraint and challenge for government. And that is why it was decided with the establishment of Zoom Lion and Just One group of companies to create public-private part partnerships. Because in the past, government had been solely responsible for waste management. And we came to the realization that government on its own cannot continue to be able to manage our waste properly. And that we needed to involve the private sector in waste management. And that is how come this public-private partnership has developed. We also realized that one of the things to do was to apply science to waste management. And when it comes to applying science to waste management in respect of the latest methods and systems of managing waste, then if you pass Zoom Lion and Just One group of companies, I don't think you'll find any other company that is leading in this area. This government's intention is to partner with the private sector like Zoom Lion to use scientific methods to ensure that we get on top of our waste management. And one of the initiatives we're doing is to make sure that we give every household a bin so that they can put their waste in and make it easier to collect. Because how do you manage waste if you don't have a bin in which to put it? Often it's put in baskets and other materials and so a lot of the garbage, you know, uh, leaks out, goes into our drains and blocks our drains. And then when there are floods, we have a problem. Another area in which we are working together is in the area of liquid waste management. That has been a very perennial problem for all of us. From colonial times, we had the pit latrines, which some people call bomba. And um, some citizens of Ghana went to court and uh, got the Supreme Court to determine that the carrying of waste, liquid waste, human feces by human beings was degrading. And therefore, the Supreme Court should rule that AMA should bring this practice to an end as soon as possible. And the Supreme Court upheld the, 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 the application. And so AMA was given a, a deadline to stop the carrying of human feces by human beings. And I must say, today, as a result of that Supreme Court ruling, there are no longer bomber toilets and pit latrines here in Accra. And so human beings are no longer carrying waste. But the point is, we are replacing them with um, 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 liquid, with um, toilets that have manholes that still hold that liquid waste. And if human beings are not carrying it, and even trucks are carrying it, still the problem of where you dispose it is there. And so I gave AMA and Zoom Lion a deadline 
to repair the MUDO, which is the liquid waste treatment plant, and put enough wa liquid waste capacity in order that we don't put any more liquid waste into the sea. And I'm happy to announce that the deadline I gave them is August this year. And so from August this year, Lavender Hill is going to be closed down. And there will be no more dumping of liquid waste into the sea. And so if you are caught doing it on the beach, you cannot put the argument that you are helping AMA by coming to deliver your liquid waste there because the liquid waste will be delivered at the Mudo and treated. Another liquid waste treatment plant is built, being built at Ajin Kotoku so that for the northern part of the city and the eastern part of the city, the liquid waste can be taken there and treated. My brothers and, and sisters, we are extending this not only, uh, this is restricted not only to Accra, but we're extending it into the other major cities in the country. And so as I speak, uh, a new compost plant is being built in Kumasi. Kumasi is the second biggest city. Accra generates about 2,500 tons of waste a day. And Kumasi generates about 1,500 to 1,800 tons of uh, waste a day. And so these major cities need to also have modern me methods of waste disposal. And so for both the liquid waste treatment and solid waste treatment, it is not only Accra that is going to benefit, but the other major cities in the country are going to, be, to benefit so that we can get a handle of our waste management problem. But today, we are here to launch the distribution of waste management equipment. This is not the first time Zoom Lion and Jospong are partnering with government to uh, provide uh, uh, waste management equipment to private companies. These equipment are procured, they are provided to private companies, and they have the opportunity to pay for them over an extended period of time. And so today, 400 refuse trucks, which are parked down there, we will be commissioning soon, will be distributed to waste management companies so that they have the kind of equipment that is needed to be able to move waste as quickly as possible. And in addition, 5,000 motorized tricycles. I think you've been seeing, seeing them in, in town, those three-legged uh, uh, wheelers. Uh, they will be used to go from house to house to pick the garbage, and then they can take the garbage to the transfer stations in order that the longer, bigger trucks can move the garbage to the compost plants and to the landfill site. We believe that this will create jobs for many uh, young, young people, and um, they will be distributed to those who are interested to collect garbage you know, over and be paid you know, from the monthly garbage fees that we pay. And then they would also uh, go and dump them at the transfer sites, and then Zoom Lions trucks will move them to the appropriate place where they should be dis uh, disposed of. So I want to, on behalf of government, commend the Ministry of Local Government, Zoom Lion, and Just One Group of Companies for this continued dedication that they have to waste disposal. I must also commend them and ask them to speed up, you know, the projects for desilting the odor drain. As I said, we must not behave like the vulture. Last year, almost 150 of our compatriots died when the rains came down because of the flooding. And so we ask that the major drains be desilted as quickly as possible. I'm aware that working together, the Ministry of Local Government and Zoom Lion group of companies are putting equipment both on the Kole Lagoon and in the Odor drain to desilt it as quickly as possible before the rains start coming down in June so that we will not have the kind of flooding that we saw uh, in the past year. And so I ask them to speed up work so that um, we don't have any casualties from uh, the rainfall that will be coming uh, sometime in this year. And so I wish to thank you very much again for your patience and tolerance and um, to uh, wish that this uh, ceremony will benefit the people to whom it is intended. For all the beneficiaries who will get these waste management equipment, kindly, kindly, kindly maintain them properly and make sure that they have extended life. I have recommended and said that we don't need to know you are working because in the daytime you are coming and picking these garbage things 
uh, while we are also busy at work. In many cities across the world, waste management companies work at night. When we are asleep, that's when they are moving the garbage because there's no traffic. But even in the morning, all of us are rushing to work, and that's the time you want to take this, your truck, and go and carry garbage and also come and stand in the traffic. It's, it's not the best. And so please, let's uh, make sure that um, we make the best opportunity of what we have. I thank you, and God bless our homeland. Canada.